Welcome, to the DynaLab video tutorials. The NX program file named as Demo Harness. Stored by default in the NX editor. And the tutorial board, provided with your getting starter kit, were used as base to create this example program. Contact DynaLab if you need to order the tutorial board for practicing. This video tutorial, will illustrate how to establish a shift variable, that can then be used to print on a label, or transfer to the NX server. For this example program, there will be three shifts as shown, and the shift start times must be on the hour. Logical decisions based on the last hour of the shift, will be made to determine the shift number. Let's examine the provided program for this application. Once our tester has completed the electrical test, it was necessary to add the set counter variable right after the test display. The goal in this step is to set the current time in 24 hours format into a counter variable. The NX editor software contain the variables $TC1 and $H24 required for this goal. Where the $TC1 variable is persistent and are not cleared on power up or program change as the $PC1 variable would. And the system variable $H24 holds the current time in 24 hours format. Then, must set the variable $TC1 with the variable $H24 to complete this step. From this point, this video will explain how it was possible to identify and assign a number to the third shift in just three steps. And how this number is shown on the tester's display. For the first and second shift the same steps were repeated. Step number one. Decide cell. It is necessary for our program to decide in which shift the electrical test is in, based on the time stored in the variable $TC1. To do this, it was necessary to compare the hour stored in the variable $TC1, if it is less than or equal to 06, which is the end time of the third shift. On a true result, a branch to the step number 10 is going to be made. Step number 2, set string variable. As a result of the branch from the decide cell, the NX program assigned the number 03 to the shift, in the expression field to the variable $TS1. Then a jump to the step number 16 is made to continue with the third shift settings. Step number 3. The UI cell was used to show on the tester display the value of the variable $TS1. Also, the $TIM variable was added in the row number 2, as a time reference. Now all settings for the third shift are completed green button must be pressed to continue testing. Steps 4 and 10 were repeated for the subsequent shifts to complete this program. Download, and run this program. Setting the time on the tester in multiple hours, spanning the three shifts, verify the results on the tester's display. Thank you for selecting DynaLab test systems. For more videos, Please visit our website at dynalaptesters.com.